Hi, welcome back. If you are interested in learning Revit API, then first of all, we need to prepare our development environment. Let's start by installing all necessary Revit plugins for Revit API development with Python. And don't worry, there are not so many of them, and they are very quick and simple to install. The plugins that we are going to install are Revit Lookup, Revit Python Shell, and my favorite, PyRevit. We'll be using these plugins along the whole course, and I'm going to briefly explain them in this video as well. I use Revit 2023, but they are also available for all the other Revit versions, and I will show you where to get the right installers. So let's start with the first plugin, Revit Lookup. It was developed by Jeremy Tamek, who also has a big Revit API blog, but majority is going to be in C-sharp. But don't worry, I will teach you how to translate C-sharp snippets into Python in the second module of this course. Revit Lookup is probably the most used tool when we create our custom tools for Revit. It allows us to access and view data about our Revit elements. We get sort of a sneak peek behind the scenes that can help us write our code. Each element in Revit has a set of properties and methods, and we can use them with Revit API. And it's extremely helpful to get a preview of return values before we even start coding. To install it, use a link in the description, or we can open Google and type Revit Lookup, then look for a GitHub repository from Jeremy Tamek. Right here on the right, you can see the latest releases. And if you scroll down to installations, it says that it should support Revit versions since 2015. We could also access previous versions, but I would not recommend it. Just go and install the latest version, and it should work just fine. So let's click on latest release, and here in the assets, look for that MCI file. Click to download, then run the installer and follow the instructions. Then once installation is complete, this plugin should be located in Add-ins tab right here. And the next plugin that we're going to install is Revit Python Shell. It's a plugin that allows us to run Python scripts within Revit environment. It's an interactive Python shell that is very useful for debugging and testing smaller snippets. We could also use it to run complete Python scripts from it, but PyRevit is going to be a much better option for this. But nevertheless, we still need Revit Python Shell in our development toolbox. And to install it, use a link in the description, or you can open Google and type Revit Python Shell. Then look for a GitHub repository from Architecture Building Systems. Same as before, latest release is going to be right here on the right. And if we scroll down to installation section, it says that the latest release supports Revit from 2018 to 2023. There are also all the versions available right here, but I don't think that we need them. So let's go and click on latest release, then download that MCI installer file, then run it and follow the installation instructions. And once you install it, it should be also shown right here in add-ins tab. And lastly, let's install PyRevit. It's built on top of Revit Python shell to run Python file, and it has a lot to offer. There are plenty of custom tools available in PyRevit, and also even more in additional extensions. And they are all open source, meaning that we have access to all the source code and it can be great for beginners to learn and reuse certain snippets from them. We can hold Alt and click on any of the tools and it will open you a folder where the script is located and you can read and reuse some of the code snippets. It's great and you should definitely use it. On top of that, making an extension with PyRevit is super simple. We just need to create a folder structure and PyRevit will do the rest. I will show you how easy it is in just a few videos, but for now, let's just install it. To install it, use a link in the description, or you can open Google and type PyRevit. Then look for this GitHub repository, and same as before, latest release is going to be right here on the right. And inside of it, you can get installation file from here, or we can scroll down to assets and look for that .exe installer. And make sure you're not downloading CLI version. It's an extra feature that allows us to run PyRevit commands through the terminal. So I will download PyRevit installer from here, and then I'm going to run it as usual and install. And once you install it, there should be a separate tab for PyRevit, and you can see there are plenty of tools. And if you want to install additional extensions, then let's go to this PyRevit tab, click here on the pull-down menu, then select extensions. You can choose any extension you want, and then click on install extension. Select where it should be saved, and now we have even more tools, and you can explore them. So, we have installed the most important plugins for Revit API development with Python. You can restart your Revit to make sure that plugins are installed correctly, but we are not done yet setting up your development environment. Because in this next video, you will learn how to install and configure PyCharm and add Revit API autocomplete, which is an absolute must for beginners and even proficient programmers. So I'm gonna see you there.